friends uh, now we will move to our last uh, presentation that is on strby success story on honey production so and dr rupa patel from samiti north uh, karnataka she is going to present uh, this success story dr rupa patel a very good noon to all of you uh, first of all i would like to introduce myself uh, myself dr rupa s patel i am uh, working in icr kushi vigyan kendra uttar kannada sirsi uh, comes under uks dharwad university of agriculture sciences dharwad from karnataka uh, i am associated with the kvk system for the past uh, 14 years before joining uh, this university kvk i earlier i was in karnataka kushi vigyan kendra which was also ngo kvk at davangere uh, regarding this uh, uh, strby Sir, at the outset, I thank uh, uh, Manish for uh, giving me an opportunity to present the success story on honey production. Uh, this uh, Uttara Kannada. Uh, this is one of the I can say one of the beautiful uh, districts of Karnataka. Uh, it, it, it comes and it comes under uh, Western Ghats, sir. And uh, you know the Western Ghats. And here, uh, Sirsi comes under the Central Western Ghats. And uh, honey production. This is a very common practice. Honey beekeeping. a uh, majority of the farmers they are in they are into honey production and uh, not only honey other uh, uh, bio products and uh, value added products also they are marketing here and here i am going to share the one of the success story of on honey production among our street trainee that is the skill training for rural youth which i conducted during 2021 22 batch uh, shri gobind rao nai And uh, this skill training it was conducted uh, just six months before that is in uh, December thirteen to eighteen and uh, uh, it, it, uh, and I thank university also for uh, giving me an opportunity to conduct this uh, uh, skill training for rural youths and uh, this our university it comes under uh, Samiti now and regarding the session plan so before going to this topic. Actually, when I gave the publicity regarding this, uh, that I am going to organize this training, I got a very huge response. More than fifty participants means the trainees they were interested not only from Uttar Kannada, even from Mangalore also they were interested to participate uh, in the training program because uh, this Uttar Kannada no, it is known for this uh, uh, beekeeping and other organic products. And uh, here regarding this district, here it is eighty percent of the. Uh, area it is under uh, forest cover. Just twenty percent is under the cultivation, cultivation of the crops. That is especially paddy and areca based cropping system. And here the spices are the major ones. And uh, along with these uh, agriculture and horticulture crops, beekeeping is also one of the uh, major enterprise. Uh, here farmers know they are very much reluctant to use these chemical pesticides. and uh, this is uh, i can say this this place is very much suitable for the beekeeping also because we are seeing here the vast uh, uh, green flora and uh, this is a forest uh, means a, a evergreen forest we can found here and uh, regarding this session plan and uh, this session it was about the uh, introduction about the participants and in the first day in the inaugural session actually we have introduced uh, two youth beekeepers uh, by by them motivational talk was uh, they, they they gave the motivational talk they were the successful young beekeepers from ankola uh, uttar kannada not only the forest area we are blessed with coastal belt also around 140 km of coastal area is there so this districts enjoys both the hill ecosystem as well as the coastal ecosystem and these beekeepers these, these are young beekeepers they are of 30 years of age they both are friends in the school days and later on they started the uh, actually they were doing this beekeeping and later on they expanded their uh, uh, this this hobby as an you know, this commercial one and uh, actually they are in the yana region one of the scenic spot and um, uh, they were sandesh bandekar and ganesh nayak together they were maintaining around 500 colonies of apis serana indica here one more thing sir in our district this apis mellifera is not performing well and many research studies and many beekeepers they fail to uh, keep this apis mellifera but the, our strain that is black strain we call that's mallard strain we call that apis serana indica it is performing very successfully and both these beekeepers know they are maintaining around 500 colonies of apis serana indica successfully and uh, they have evolved a new concept called live honey now everything is a live era so they what, what they here in this concept 
they are uh, extracting the honey in front of their customers and one day they are fixed actually i to participated on 9th april um they have organized a honey festival even our kvk was a part of that and during that festival itself they have uh, uh, they have harvested the honey and they have uh, uh, given to the customers and uh, these talks they were it was like a motivational talk and uh, they made the uh, trainees uh, uh, to to start the beekeeping activities our uh, participants they were not only they were the fresh ones they already some some way they were doing the beekeeping and some way they they, they came just to learn the some new techniques in beekeeping and uh, in the afternoon session uh, we made the beekeeper uh, we made the trainees to visit one of the Pro progressive beekeeper that Sri Madhikeshwar Hegde, who is maintaining more than 1,500 to 2,000 uh, at his Sarana colonies. He says the bee is a god. And uh, today I can proudly say that uh, with just with beekeeping and his medicine practicing, he has earned the property of worth 18 crores. Every year he is earning around the more, no, no, not less than one crore. Sir. That too with beekeeping, not only from beekeeping, along with beekeeping, means honey byproducts he is selling and value addition. Many recently, our Atari director also visited along with the senior scientists and head from KVKs of Karnataka, Kerala, and Lakshadweepa. And uh, he, he uh, and he is uh, Poland also. He is uh, uh, selling and be one of epitherapy. Sir, that the, one of the most uh, important thing that is he, he is practicing epitherapy also means uh, many um, visitors, foreign visitors, they came for this purpose only. And he is selling the wax and he is interested in royal jelly too. And he is following advanced uh, queen technique, technique that queen crafting. This all these things has shown to our uh, uh, participants, and uh, he is maintaining the stingless bee colonies also. That's Trigona because the stingless bee here it is the price of the uh, honey. Uh, this uh, uh, stingless honey it is uh, three thousand rupees per kg, and he is maintaining a medicinal garden. And all these topics were covered for the, our uh, trainees and. Uh, he is having the two B units at the cardboard, which is very near to Sissi and even at the quality bees. And he is expanding his uh, beekeeping activities. And in Google also, we can see his uh, uh, activities on YouTube and many other things. And uh, this is the inauguration program. And he is our uh, professor from College of Forestry, Sissi, Dr. Jabra Goda, who is also for the students, he is teaching the commercial beekeeping. And he is a Sandesh Bandekar, youth beekeeper, and Ganesh Nayak. And he is uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Shushan Kamurti. And here uh, we have made the participants for the hands-on lectures also we have introduced. And uh, these are the, you can say, just uh, um, uh, this uh, box make that uh, bee box making factory also he is having. And uh, farmers, I mean, the trainees were very much benefited uh, with this uh, uh, hands-on exposure. And uh, during the second session, uh, it was a completely a theoretical one. And uh, I gave the uh, I gave them uh, some insight about the history of beekeeping and uh, different honeybee species of in India and the domesticated one and, and other bee species and their characters. And the second lecture was by um, theory. It was lecture Dr. Raghunath R. Because uh, in CC we have College of Horticulture uh, and College of Forestry also. He is uh, from College of Horticulture, that is Dr. Raguna, and he uh, took the lecture on uh, bee biology, behavior, and foraging aspects. Because uh, in uh, Western Ghats, we have abundance of bee flora, and uh, even the, he uh, uh, explained the trainees about the communication behavior also, and uh, different strains in um, Episarana. And uh, uh, under uh, SCSCP project from our university, one of our colleagues, uh, that is uh, Srimati Annapurna, she has prepared a video film on um, beekeeping practices of Uttar Canada, wherein we have covered the success story of uh, three uh, beekeepers, Sri Madhukeshwar Hegde, Sri Gurumurti Hegde, and Sri Mati Sujata Hegde. Here, I have to make a special mention about this lady. She is a lady who is maintaining around uh, um, uh, 100 uh, colonies of Epis Sarana Indica, and uh, a few years back, she has lost the colony because of Thysak group disease. Again, uh, she has rejuvenated this her uh, beekeeping activity. She is also one of the successful uh, beekeeper in Uttar Canada. And uh, 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 then afternoon session, one of the Ayurvedic practitioners, Dr. Ravi Kiran Patwardhan, he uh, explained about the nutrition aspects of honey and uses of honey and adulteration in honey mainly. 
and the honey purity testing it is uh, uh, just by the layman also how can we test the honey like that and um, and he explained in detail about the what are the adulterants that are used in honey honey purity test and different floral based honey because here in uttar kannada we are getting the uni floral honeys also like uh, uh, soap nut honey tulsi honey that some gurge flower that is uh, that blooms once in uh, 12 years then uh, terminalia honey and areca honey because this is a areca nut based cropping system and even jamun honey and uh, we are getting a wild uh, forest honey also that's a mixed flora and these are all the glimpses of the classroom lectures that um, we have taken we have made and during the third uh, third day uh, again it was a completely a practical one third and fourth day it was a, a practical sessions their uh, our beekeepers i mean some trainees they were interested in uh, uh, means management of the bee colonies that too in malnad region and uh, here uh, we we have taken our farmers uh, trainees to hakalmani siddapur they are also the young beekeeper he is also around 30 to 35 years age that santosh hegde who is maintaining more than 100 bee colonies and uh, he uh, he explained his uh, story about the beekeeping and he is also a become graduate and uh, uh, both uh, how to maintain the uh, management of the colonies uh, during rainy season and all uh, summer season like that he explained all the aspects and even the natural enemies of honeybees and uh, one more uh, uh, practical session was by uh, shri vinay ji t gave so far it is also in hanavar taluk this is in a coastal belt and here he explained in detail and he has shown also and even our trainees they learned about the different uh, it's in uh, colony dividing practical handling and management of honey bee natural enemies mainly the wasp and the wax moth and they are good viral yeah. diseases bee eating birds and uh, uh, next day on uh, we, we made our bee keepers we made our trainees to visit one of the bee keeper that is from dukal bai that is shri venkatamana agade where they learned about the preparation of isi model bee boxes and uh, that uh, bee keeper has designed a wasp trap and to avoid the wasp patter and he has uh, explained in detail and he has shown also actually how to make the bee boxes and our bee keepers after our spray training also they uh, made the group them among themselves and uh, four of them they visited uh, his uh, his bee keep uh, his unit again and they learned how to make the isi model bee box and they are successful too and uh, in the afternoon session we went for the uh, foundation sheet for one of the farm progressive bee keeper that is from elapur elapur taluk that is shri timanna but who is uh, uh, making the uh, this foundation sheet he has purchased this foundation sheet making unit from haryana and uh, he explained in detail about the bee flora and preparation of the foundation sheet and also the farm our trainees learned about uh, hands on training on fixing the foundation sheet to the combs then uh, last uh, session in that uh, Uh, we uh, one one farmer that is Sri Shankar, but actually uh, he is also uh, in Sanskrit the college. He is a lecturer, but his wife and uh, both husband and wife together they are maintaining forty episcarana colonies in front in front of their home only. So this shows that beekeeping can be done even in a limited space, and uh, they are successfully maintained forty uh, episcarana colonies. Apart from this, uh, uh, they are also procuring the. honey from the neighbors means uh, uh, from the neighboring villages from the youths and uh, they are processing it and they are selling to the cooperatives and these are all the some of the glimpses regarding the practical exposure of our uh, trainees to different uh, bee keepers in uh, uh, siddapur taluk this is in hanavar taluk this is a coastal belt here this is in elapur taluk in front of his home only he is maintaining around more than 40 episcarana colonies and uh, on friday on fifth day the at a, it was a daily session and here the trainees were made aware about the insect pests of uh, insect pests and diseases that are affecting the honey bees and their management aspects by dr javed goda who is a professor in college of forest research and uh, my colleague dr shivshankar murthy he detail, he in detail explained about the role of bees in yield enhancement especially in cross pollinated crops and oil seeds cucurbitaceous crops and increased yield and uh, uh, we we also uh, made the trainees to plan for the post training activities and uh, during the last day uh, our home scientist that is dr ravi bhai he he explained about the nutrient content in honey it uses in medicine food and cosmetic industry 
and lastly the experiences were shared by the farmers these are all the session how we done during the uh, this uh, strby training program on beekeeping and this are this is, these are the some of the pictures about the hands on training uh, during the practical exposure and this is in may also before the uh, training also i gave the publicity and after training also it came in all the papers and this is the valedictory program really i am very happy to share that farmers gave me a small memento it really it was a very cute one and uh, uh, we distributed the certificates and all these things and they shared their experience and uh, these are all the list of experts who have participated here uh, i just want to make the highlight about the list of professional beekeepers who were used as a resource person i made about uh, himself that shri madikeshwar hegde up uh, 1500 colonies is maintaining apart from colonies he is made appearing uh, appear appliances pole and value added products and epitherapy also is following see santosh hegde uh, he is also maintaining for 200 colonies and he has created the strong whatsapp group madhuvana more in which there are 224 active beekeepers from not only from uttar kannada dakshin kannada udupi chikmagalur bangalore and shivamogga regularly they share the ideas and innovative ideas in beekeeping and vinay gt apart from uh, beekeeping he is also provides the apiary services venkatramana hegde uh, regularly he sells the colonies and uh, even he is involved in preparation of the isi model bee boxes and timanna but um, he is also having 75 bee colonies and uh, he is involved in preparation of the foundation sheet shankar but uh, he is also having 40 colonies in his uh, house premises and 60 colonies in his neighbor's home and uh, sandesh bandekar together uh, they were maintaining around uh, 500 colonies regarding the success story he is a Govind, govindrao g nayak he is a uh, youth beekeeper of about 34 years old he is from ekambi which is very near to sissi and actually he is a diploma mechanical uh, due to some problem so to look after the ancestral property he came back to sissi and he, he owns around four acres of land, which is completely an areca nut based uh, multi story cropping system. In this areca nut, black pepper, cocoa, banana, coconut, sapota, all spices and plantation crops, along with jackfruit, garcinia, and spokum, we call, and mangosteen also he has planted. And this is the game uh, picture of this uh, farm because now we are receiving a very high rainfall and uh, uh, here the problem with beekeeping is uh, during these dark period that is from June to September they have to maintain the colonies because of the high rainfall area and regarding the major learnings from the skill based training program as expressed by Govind that he has learned the colony dividing techniques and artificial feeding to the bees during the dark period management of bee colonies especially during the rainy season and he has learned uh, he has also uh, communication with the professional beekeepers to exchange the ideas and problem solving since this is a forest area it is very difficult to get in touch with the other it is not so easy sir and uh, knowledge on the byproducts like wax pollen and oil really. and this year he harvested too in uttar um, kannada the honey harvest is in march to uh, june and uh, regarding the impact this is just a six months impact and he has created a website too that's Nayak's Bee Honey Bee Farm. Looking to this only, many of the beekeepers they visited his farm. And uh, he has the number of Episarana colonies earlier before attending the training, it was around 10. And after attending, means he has raised it to 25. And he is interested too. And he has learned different ways of colony dividing techniques during the skill training. And the honey harvest in 2021 was around 5 kgs from 10 boxes. But in 2022, that is in uh, this year only, he has harvested around 40 kgs honey from 10 boxes and he has developed 15 colonies. And the honey yield is around 4 kgs per colony. And uh, and he has sold for the rupees 500 to 550 rupees uh, per kg. And he has also collected around 600 uh, grams of wax. And he has joined a professional uh, beekeeper WhatsApp group. And he has marked his agriculture activity on the Google. And these are all the different activities. And the, he has purchased these during the straight program itself. And he is actively involved in beekeeping along from his uh, regular uh, agricultural activities. And regarding the horizontal spread, he has encouraged four youths of his village to start the beekeeping activities. And even the interested farmers from the neighboring taluk, they too visited his farm to gain the knowledge. And he has uh, he, he is having a very good market for the honey from the adjoining district. Um, and it is sold uh, not less than 550. And um, at last, thank you, sir. 
thank you for giving me an opportunity uh, to present uh, success story. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, Rupa Madam. It was really a very comprehensive uh, presentation. You mentioned in detail about the session plan, uh, what was covered during the six day training program. Then you also mentioned about the, the horizontal spread and the kind of production. The, the uh, Gobind the Rao Nayak ji is getting. Uh, so, thank you very much. So, friends, if you have any questions, uh, you can just ask Madam questions. Sir, one, more, one more thing here. Here, no, sir, these are all our trainees. All are doing beekeeping. These 15 uh, trainees are selected. Uh, he is having uh, two colonies. He is having uh, around 15 colonies, 10 colonies. He is 25 colonies. Sir. He is a teacher. They are, they are into colony making business. And he is a Siddhi. There is a special tribe that is found in Uttar Canada. Already he is doing beekeeping, but he has increased and improved the techniques. And all these persons, so they are all involved into beekeeping. So I can say that this trade program is 100% successful and may all are uh, into the beekeeping business. Yeah, thank you very much. And that's what the kind of impact we expect SCRY to create because when focus is on income enhancement or productivity enhancement, how we can take these kind of enterprises, that's what the objective is. So thank you uh, very much.